Hello students, today we are going to learn about the basics of trigonometric ratios, their formulae and three methods to remember the formula. It's going to be very interesting. So let's first understand that in a right angle triangle, trigonometric ratios are those which give us relationship between an angle and the sides of the triangle. We have in a right angle triangle, all of you know that this is the hypotenuse. And for the timing, let us say this is the base which is lying horizontally and this is the perpendicular which lies vertically. Now, if we are considering the angle theta, then this is the base and this is the perpendicular and we have six types of trigonometric ratios. The first trigonometric ratio is sine theta, sine of theta if I am considering. Second is cosine theta. The word originates for, from complementary of sine. Third is tangent theta. Fourth is cosecant theta. The word co comes from complementary of secant. And the next is secant theta. And the last one is cotangent theta. Now let us see what are the formula for these and how we can remember it right so let us first concentrate on the first three t ratios sine theta which is abbreviated as s i n sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse so if i am considering theta perpendicular becomes a b and hypotenuse is a c so i will have a b upon a c we shall just do how to remember this cosine theta which is abbreviated as cos is base upon hypotenuse now when i am considering the angle theta the base becomes bc and i get this as bc upon ac formula for tangent theta is perpendicular upon base now here perpendicular is clearly ab and base is bc now, why am I again and again saying that if I am considering angle theta, the base becomes BC? Because if I consider angle, angle alpha, my base becomes AB and perpendicular becomes BC. So, first let's concentrate on the formulae of sine theta, cos theta and tangent theta. I am going to tell you the three methods. Now, the first method which is my personal favorite and I have also covered it in a short video is a very cute, sweet little poem. It goes like this, some people have curly brown hair through proper brush. Let us see, understand how it goes. See, some people have, this gives me sine theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. You see, some people have, some people have. Curly brown hair. So cos theta gives me base upon hypotenuse. So cos theta is curly brown hair. So whenever you have to write the formula for cos theta, just write curly brown hair. And tangent theta is through proper brush. So tangent is equal to perpendicular upon base through proper brush so this is a very sweet poem and it's my personal favorite because it covers one trigonometric ratio in one line you don't have to recite whole of the poem if you want the value of cos say you want to find the formula for cos you don't have to speak out whole of the poem you simply say curly brown hair when you say say cos theta is equal to when you say curly brown hair you speak brown and you write b and you speak hair and you write h and it gives you the formula cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse so this is the first method let's go on to the second our very own desi method it goes like this sona chandi tole pandit badri prashad har har bole now you have to see like this sin theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse and tangent theta is equal to perpendicular upon base, right? So, Sona Chandi Tole Pandit Badri Prashad Har Har Bole. This is also very easy, very interesting, mazedar, but 
as compared to some people have this poem makes a relationship of all the three lines to speak out one t ratio so you have to write whole of it in a corner or in the mind or somewhere so but you may prefer whichever you like now let us go on to the third method third method says so ka to wa so ka to wa now this does not use base and perpendicular concept rather it uses adjacent side and opposite side suppose i am using the values of theta then which is the adjacent side to theta which joins the angle of 90 degree and theta this is adjacent sides and clearly this is the opposite side this side is opposite to theta clearly opposite to theta is which side hypotenuse is adjoining c and uh, bc is also using c it's only ab which is opposite to theta so this is the opposite side this is the adjacent side and hypotenuse is clearly fixed so soka toa gives us sin theta is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse cos theta is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse and tangent theta is equal to opposite side over adjacent side let us see how do we get sin theta is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse see opposite side means ab upon hypotenuse is ac so sin theta is equal to ab upon ac otherwise also we get some people have right cos theta is so ka ch a means adjacent side that is bc hypotenuse is ac otherwise also we have curly brown hair and tangent toa oa o means opposite side that is ab and a means adjacent side that is bc so so ka toa this is useful in another way also that there is no confusion of perpendicular or base in this if you are using if you are finding the values of alpha then this becomes opposite side and this becomes adjacent side so that confusion also gets over in soka toa so these are the three methods my personal favorite is definitely some people have curly brown hair through proper brush you may follow soka toa or sona chandi to le pandit badri prashad har har bole now let us write down the remaining three t ratios let us learn the formula first let us see what is sin theta sin theta is some people have that is perpendicular upon hypotenuse cosine is base upon hypotenuse tangent is perpendicular upon base now the remaining 3t ratios are reciprocal of sin cos and tan reciprocal of sin theta is cosecant theta so clearly its formula will be h over p reciprocal of cosine theta will be secant theta so clearly its formula will be h upon b and cotangent is the reciprocal for tangent theta which formula will be b by p now how to remember what is the reciprocal of what see let us see i have sin theta into cosec theta is equal to 1 cos theta into secant theta is equal to 1 and tangent theta into cot theta is equal to 1 now see tangent and cotangent are clearly complementary also of each other and reciprocal also of each other it's a very very special pair of trigonometric ratios so it's very easy to remember so cotangent theta will be reciprocal of tangent theta problem comes in sin and cosec cosine side so just remember the supreme code just rem remember the formula of supreme code supreme code is what sc and supreme code is the ultimate code right so just remember the concept of s c so with sin theta we shall have cosec theta supreme code s c with cos theta we shall have secant theta so s s and c c combinations are not going to be there s s and c c combinations are not going to be there okay so uh, reciprocal of sin is cosec and reciprocal of cos is secant or you there is one more way to remember that c o s will come only once so if here cos has already come in cos so here cos yeah, that is in cosec it will not come again so these are the two ways to remember and let us write down now the formula for these two see how will you write when you have to write the formula for cosec theta just remember whose reciprocal it is it is c is already there so it is a recipro reciprocal of sin sin is some people have so write down in reverse order some people have the same poem will help you some people have now while writing formula for secant just recall it is reciprocal of cos what is cos curly brown hair so start writing in reverse order because we are writing reciprocal ratio so brown hair 
while you speak brown right b while you speak hair right h cotangent is reciprocal of tangent and tangent is proper brush so write down in reverse order proper brush so b by p so i hope that after today's video you will never ever get confused in the formula right so let us once again write for all the 60 ratios sin theta is some people have as i told you it's my personal favorite so it is ab upon ac okay let me take up some values and write down let us say say this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 units so this will be some people have that is 4 by 5 cos theta is curly brown hair that is 3 by 5 tangent theta is proper brush that is 4 by 3 cosec theta is reverse of sine so some people have right in reverse order so i have 5 by 4 secant theta is reverse of cos brown hair so this gives me 5 by 3 and cot theta is reverse of tangent reciprocal of tangent which is proper brush so you see i'm speaking proper writing p i'm speaking brush writing b so this gives me 3 by 4 and if you have to write the values of alpha just reverse it and now this becomes your base for alpha ab is the base and bc is the perpendicular and accordingly write down all the values so i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was helpful as i al always say please do not forget to like please do not forget to share subscribe Happy practicing. Thank you so much.